Chase Sealer. Hey guys, it's Mike here from the Troll Food Gamers, and this is my second episode of Feed the Beast. As you can see, I do look a little bit different uh, than I did last time you were here, and that's because of maybe some power suit armor. But uh, I haven't done anything to it yet. We're going to be covering that today. Let me show you a couple things that I did off camera. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm fucking around. Oh, shit. I'm fucking around with bees a bit, um, but I don't really know what I'm doing yet. So we're going to wait until I find out what the fuck's going on. Then we will um, show you some more on that. Now, um, I've upgraded some chests. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, then we'll teach you that. Um, get to that in a minute. Now, also, uh, some stuff to go with the bees. That's pretty much what all this shit is up here. So, don't really need to cover that just yet. And if you go up to my next cell level, you will see... <laughs> I can't fucking talk. Uh, on the next level, you'll see this right here is a coal coke oven. Alright, as you can see, I've got my uh, machine block, which is just refined iron, my electric circuit, my, my electronic circuit, and my emerald, and that will give me a power suit tinkering table. So now, if you come down here, and I'm going to throw it down in the corner right here, if you click on it, you're going to see that you can do all kinds of awesome shit, okay? Um, you can put plating, you got to have a battery. Um, you can make it to where you don't run out of water, or air is fast under water, an auto feeder, night vision, um, binoculars, flight control, clock, compass, I mean, all kinds of cool shit. First thing you have to do is get a battery, though. Um, and most people start with a basic battery, which is what I'm going to do. So, we're going to need one for each of these, as you can see. So, we're going to need five of these LV capacitors. Right. Which is just paper, silver, gold. I don't think that's right. Yeah, we're going to do it this way. Which is just with. Oh, fuck. I don't have that much tin. Um. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Alright. So, I'm going to go make those, and then I'll show you how to install them. Alright guys, as you can see, I have made six of the LV capacitors. And basically, all you're going to do is you're going to come over here, click on it to where it says basic battery, and then click install. So now, all of them have batteries. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is do uh, iron plating. Uh, actually, let me just show you some of the things that you can do with um, the glove. Because uh, it's one of the most amazing things. I love it. It can work as an axe, a pickaxe, a shovel, shears, um, an auto tiller, a leaf blower, uh, ore scanners. Uh, that's a wrench. Lux capacitor. These things are awesome. Um... And I'm actually going to do that one first and then show you how that works. And all that is is two iron ingots and a glowstone. I did make a trip to the nether um, to get that glowstone because I knew that was one of the first things that I was going to want to do. So we'll get a couple of those. And those are just iron. Yeah. Let's grab some iron. So once you install that, if you get out, and I put my power glove on, if you hold shift, you can go through the different things that it will have, and you can see that it pops up right there next to that torch. But, I'm not a big fan of torches. Um, I don't really like them. I think they're kind of ugly. So, I think what we're going to do is replace all of these with these power sources. Or, they're uh, lux capacitors. It basically works as a light source. So, you don't have to have fucking torches laying everywhere. So, now you can see I got rid of all my torches, and now I just got these. 
for those of you who don't know, if you hit is it F7, yeah, F7, anywhere that has an X on it, uh, mobs can spawn. So you'll want to add more lighting in those areas. see uh, everywhere except for right here and I got I'm just turning the ring off uh, so that way that y'all can actually hear me talk and then of course you'll hit F7 again to turn it off so now you can see I've got these everywhere instead of fucking torches which I think is awesome now also, you can do all kinds of plating to these. Um, what we're going to do is the iron because that's what we have the most of. So I'm going to make four of those and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have went ahead and made the plating. So I'm going to go ahead and install those. And that basically gives you the same um, protection as iron armor would. Also, I went ahead and made an extra one because... Shit, I should have made a bunch of extra ones. Um, this right here is called a heat sink. And what it does is as you use certain parts of your armor, heat will build up. And if you use it too fast, you will catch on fire and it will cause damage. So I made one extra, so we'll go ahead and stick that one on there too. Um, the next thing that I think we're going to make is shock absorbers and also jet boots. So that way that... Uh, Actually, we're going to make the jet pack because the jet pack is um, stronger. Um, I like it better, uh, but it is way more expensive. So anyway, guys, um, I guess I can go do that and I'll be right back again. Okay, guys, um, I went ahead and made enough stuff to install the axe pickaxe. And shovel as well as the shock absorber no nope, thought I did apparently I didn't have enough of that one but anyway we'll get back to that um, so basically now you can use this to do all of these things as fast as shovel see so as you can see there um, also So as you can see, it's a whole lot better. So uh, that's one of the first things that I, I know I wanted to do as soon as I got that situated because it fills out your inventory space um, and also it's a whole hell of a lot better just to have to have one um, tool to carry around. So. Now, as you can see, um, over on the, hang on, right here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but over there to the right, um, you're going to see that it does have um, power that it uses, so you're going to have to keep recharging. All you do, come over to your bat box, um, like this one right here, you can see is low, take it, and put it in the top, no, the bottom slot. And as you can see, it, no, shit, top slot. And as you can see, what it does, it fills it back up for you. As you can see, all the other ones are full, so we're good there. Um, I need one more bit of wood. Because I want to show you this. Um, now, shock absorbers. Go ahead and install those. And as you can see right here, it has a place for power. Right now, it tells you how much it's going to use, how much energy it's going to use, and how much um, reduction that it will do. So, I always set mine to 100% just because I'm a bit of a klutz. But now I can fall from any length and won't take any kind of damage. So, I'll go out here and. Let's see if we can't. Oh, god damn it. Uh, that's part of the mod for 
you breed trees. But as you can see, normally you would take damage from here. And you don't, but it just makes noise. But as you can see, it used up some of my energy. So just be careful with that. Um, always make sure that your energy is high. There are solar panels and things like that, that you can make for it, which I probably will make here in just a little while. Um, but as of right now, we're not going to. Hey, butterfly. Hey, fucker. What are you running into? Oh, cactuses. <laughs> I feel like I forgot to put something on here. Oh, I did. The whole attachments. But as you can see, it also has all kinds of cool stuff. I really like the rail gun. Um, so let me see if I can make that, and then we'll we'll be right. I'll uh, show you that. Alright, turns now down just a little bit more of this. Steam engines are quite noisy. Um, now, to make an HV capacitor, which is what you have to have for the rail gun. It's really expensive, but it's worth it. You gotta have wiring and a Labaton crystal. Now, a Labaton crystal, to make that, you have to have an energy crystal, which is a diamond surrounded by redstone. So, I think I have a diamond left. I do have a couple. We'll take that. Surrounded by redstone. Also know I need a couple. Uh, fuck! How do you make these? Is it refined iron? Uh, copper cables? Yeah. All right, need two of those. There's a second one of those. What else was it? Lapton crystal. Lapton circuit. Lapis. Fuck, I don't know that. Yeah, I do. Circuit there and there, and then of course our crystal in the center. So that makes our lepton crystal, and then I think it was just a bit of wiring on either side of that. Yes. What? Oh, hang on. The wiring, the laptop crystal. Why are you not working? I finally got it to work. I had to actually go and <laughs> use a uh, regular bench. Because for some reason, it did not want to work in that. So, anyway. What did I forget now? Do I not have enough solenoids? No, let me go make a couple of those. Alright, now I got enough. Uh, we'll install that there. Install that there. 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 And, oh, and we probably got it there. Good. Alright, so now I go to shift with your power glove in your hand you can see that you've got the railgun and also uh, I put the tiller in there so now if we go outside see if we can find a mob somewhere there's one pew 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 motherfucker So 
that's pretty cool. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have a like of Minecraft and you like Feed the Beast, um, or you play Feed the Beast, and there's something you would like for me to work on, maybe something you don't quite understand, you'd want me to show you that, make sure you leave that in the comments. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Troll Food Gamers. Also, check out Dainty and Stanky and all the things they're doing. Also, you can check me out on the Troll Food Podcast at trollfoodpodcast.com. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I think next time, we're going to get into a little bit of Thomcraft. Anyway, guys, talk to you later. Bye.